Are you looking to make some yummy and healthy snacks for your dogs at home? Well, stick with me because in this video, we're gonna be making some healthy and delicious sweet potato chews for your dogs. and in this video we're going to be making some healthy and delicious sweet potato chews for your dogs. So what we're starting out with is two sweet potatoes and we're just going to start out by peeling them and then we're going to slice them. So let's go ahead and get started with our peeling. We've got our two sweet potatoes peeled and I've cut off the ends. Now what we gotta do is cut them into quarter inch slices. Now we can either cut them long ways um, or uh, around. For me, it's easier to cut them around so that's what we're gonna do. So let's get cutting. So if you have a mandolin, this would make it actually really easy. I don't have one so I'm gonna cut them um, long ways so that I have a flat base and then I'm just gonna start cutting quarter inch slices. Okay, now that we have our sweet potatoes cut, we're gonna try to get them as um, consistently even as possible, which is why a mandolin would be great if you have one. Uh, we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them on a greased baking sheet and we're gonna place them in the oven at 170 degrees. Now, um, we're cooking them in a very, very low temperature to attempt at dehydrating them. If you have a dehydrator, you can use that as well. Um, in the 170 degree oven, we're gonna start checking them at around um, five hours, but they can take nine hours or longer in the oven. So let's go ahead and get these put on a baking sheet, a grease baking sheet. We're gonna get them popped in the oven at 170 degrees. Okay, so we're checking in on our sweet potato chews. And um, so I put most of them in the oven, but I put some of them in the dehydrator. And it's been about seven hours. Um, and the uh, sweet potatoes that are in the oven have a long way to go. The ones from the dehydrator, however, are completely done. So I wanted to show them to you. And so yeah, when you put them in the oven, it's just 170 degrees, put them in the dehydrator. Uh, mine only took about six and a half, seven hours in the dehydrator, which is super fast. But um, so these are done. So these are your sweet potato chews. They're really awesome. I actually just ate one, they're pretty good. Um, it's just plain sweet potato, super delicious and healthy for your dogs. So. Okay, we're back with our sweet potato crisps for our dogs, and I just showed you that I put most of them in the oven, but I put some of them in the dehydrator, and um, putting them in the dehydrator went a lot quicker than putting them in the oven, but I have finished my crisps from the oven, oven and they're all sliding towards the camera now. Um, so that's what they look like when they're done. In the oven, they took right about nine hours. Um, in the dehydrator, they took a little over six hours. So there's a big difference there, but um, whatever you have available to you, if you don't have a dehydrator, I'll put a link in the um, description below to uh, a couple on Amazon that, that I like. Um, so we've just got our sweet potato crisps now, as you can see. You can make them as big or as small as you want. I think mine took less time because I made them pretty small. I have small dogs, but if you have large dogs, then you can um, use a mandolin and cut them lengthwise, make them much bigger. They'll just take a little bit longer to cook or dehydrate, um, but that's gonna be fine because they're gonna be really healthy and delicious treats for your dogs. So another really simple, healthy, delicious treat you can make today for your dogs uh, if you like this video, try it out, by the way. Make sure your dogs like it. I, I'd love to hear your comments about trying this out for your dogs. If you uh, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and comment if you have any questions and share this video so that your friends and family can also make these sweet potato chews for their dogs. And until next time, um, I will see you in the next video.